name's David. I'm eight. I'm from Mang Ninh, the smallest province in Vietnam. I love traveling, and today I'm eager to tell you about one of my traveling experiences. But first of all, let me show you some pictures. Take a look and let's see if you can guess what this place is. Look at this. It was me. I was standing in front of a square, and it looks like a colosseum. Is it Greek? No. Is it Roman? No, it isn't. Let me show you another picture. It was me surfing. Am I look as cool as a cucumber? Yes, it was really cool. Is it Hawaii? I wish so, but it isn't Hawaii. I've never been to Hawaii before. It's a difficult to guess what this place is, right? Let me make it easier for you. Look at the final hint. There was a small wooden bridge, many canals, some water motorbikes, many people are playing with waves, and I was swinging on the Pearl Island of Vietnam. Oops, did I just say the Pearl Island of Vietnam? The Pearl Island of Vietnam? Did you hear it? Yes. Now, I'm sure that you all have the answers. It's Phu Quoc, which is known as the Pearl Island of Vietnam, and today, let's follow me to one of the most beautiful beaches in Vietnam. I went there with my parents last summer. That was our first time to Phu Quoc, and I was surprised by the long, white, sandy beach and crystal clear water in there. We stayed there for three days and two nights. On the first day, we walked along the sandy beach under the beautiful sunshine. The waves gently patted my feet and the enchanted sunlight danced on my shoulders. Let's see how excited I was in this clip. It really refreshed my mind and my body after a long flight. Then we have super fresh seafood with some traditional local food for the dinner. It's so yummy. On the second day, we joined a tour to five islands by canoe. Each island had a unique beauty and you can do many things there. I and my mom dived to see the colorful corals while my dad was parasailing. It was so cool. I remember the third day the most. My family went to a peaceful beach called Barai Red. There were so many starfish. My mom told me not to touch and hurt the starfish. I put on my favorite swimming suits and carried a bucket and a shovel. I collected some seashells and then I built the most beautiful sand castle in the world. Until now, it is still the most memorable experience for me. One day, I will come back to Fukuoka to savor the sound of the sea. I love and so proud of Vietnam. When I grow up, I will become a marine to protect the sea of Vietnam. That's the end of my presentation. Thanks for listening.